Eminem dropped Kamikaze. You had two tracks on that. Yeah. And both of them were jabs, if you yeah. will, at Machine Gun Kelly. After that, Machine Gun Kelly drops Rap Devil. Mm -hmm. Another Ronnie JB. Yeah. How did that happen? Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Bursting on the scene with hits for Denzel Curry, Ronnie J, the architect of the SoundCloud sound that has come to dominate stream charts, has grown with artists like Ski Mask, The Slump God, and XXXTentacion to producing beats for Eminem and even traveling the world with Kanye West. Oh I'm Steve Vasquez, and I came out here to Miami to see what makes this young beat maker tick. So right now, yeah, we're in Miramar, Broward County, very close to Miami, mm -hmm. Florida. This is the house where, you know, we all came from. So you, Denzel, X. Bro, we used to play football in the street, all type of shit. It's just lit. <laughs> Dude, I was so broke, I couldn't even go home for like holidays, you know? And I was just, you know, making beats a lot of the time. He's like, yo, you know, I got a crib. That was like his first crib, you know? He's like, yo, just come stay here, you know, since we're already working every day. So I just started staying there. Me and Denzel Curry, we created the whole entire period here in his bedroom, which is the room all the way to the far right. We also created uh, the song Ultimate, which we made in the back room. At the time, I didn't have a room. I was on the couch right here. You slept on the couch in here? Yeah, bro. I used to hate that shit. I was never rocking with it, but I told myself I'll do whatever it takes to make it before I go back home. Even if I gotta sleep on the sand, on the beach, I don't care. I'm not going back home with nothing. I'm going back home, I'm changing my mom's life, and that's it. From sleeping on couches to like being able to switch the color of your cars and buying cars, and how does that feel? Honestly, bro, it feels like GTA to me. It's like inspiration, bro, you know, it's art. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. That's <laughs> This shit go crazy. Me and X made sipping tea here in my room, which is to the far left in the back. Where would you guys record? I was like in my bed laying down, just making the beat. And he just happened to get home and then like he'd walk in the room like, yo, Ronnie, I think I got something for this. And it ended up being like a diss towards Space Ghost Perp. And I was like, yo, this shit goes so crazy. It was so fire, bro. Like, you know, the way he came on. I mean, after that, it was kind of like, okay, like they're rappers, I'm a producer. Yeah. Like, you know. So you provided a service for him initially? Yeah, we spent a lot of time together, yeah, like shows, you know, I made sure I was like at a lot of stuff because I wanted to hear like my music, you know? Yeah. Played. I wanted to see people like rage to like my production and stuff like that. I was in it, but you, you wouldn't really like notice it because I wasn't really comfortable yet, you know? Yeah. With like any of them, so. What do you mean you weren't comfortable? Though? I wasn't comfortable because I'm from Jersey, you know? Yeah, They're all and it's here. that Miami outsider. Yeah, but like they didn't make me feel like an outsider. It wasn't like they were like leaving me out, like, you know, mm -hmm. intentionally. It's just, I wasn't used to any of it. My ex and Ski like came over one day and they pulled up to the house party. They were trying to perform there. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, it was like Denzel Curry's house or whatever. So he went to the door and he was like, what? Like, y'all ain't about to perform in my house, you know? He was like, yo, you guys can come in, come in and party anyway. So that was like the first official time when I like seen him. And then they came back again. It was like Denzel was like really doing his thing. Like ex and Ski, they weren't that big yet. So, you know, they were, they were just trying to network and connect and, you know, they, they like looked up to like everything that we were doing already. So they came over and then out of nowhere, X just started like staying with us. You guys were close, huh? Yeah, definitely have a connection. It's always love, like, you know, like we definitely ended the phone conversations with like, all right, love you, bro. Like, you know, which is, you don't get that from everyone. That's dope, man. But I kind of have that with like, um, you know, per Denzel, like with all of them, honestly. Yeah. So it's all love at the end of the day. Like once you work with someone, you know, like it's, it's connection, like it's vibing, like you spend time with them and, you know, we all lived in that house at one point, so. Yeah. Even like, you know, losing him, like him no longer being on earth, it's like, I didn't realize, you know, the type of impact it would have. Y'all, y'all already seen what happened, man. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. R.I.P. to X. I love you. You will be missed. Ultimate comes out, Denzel, he's already hot, and then he just blows up. Yeah. Right? What were you doing while this was going on? During those days, I just never stopped working, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I definitely always wanted to go on tour with them. Mm -hmm. the but thing you didn't? was, nah. Why? They just used to tell me that there was no budget, so. Was there a little feeling of, like, you were being left behind, too, though? Yeah. 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 I am the one, the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Then it kind of inspired me to, like, want to start doing my own artist thing. 
Cause I never been the background guy anyway. I wasn't used to that. You know where I'm from. Like I was like always that dude. So like I expect to be that everywhere I'm at. Like I feel like I was being limited. So I'm like I'm just gonna make my own music. Oh my God, Ronnie. You know the current tag came. Um, I was at a house party, and um, we were like in a bedroom, and some kid was like 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 making beats or something. He had like a studio set up, and there was some girl in the room, some little like blonde chick. And my homie was like, yo, go up to the mic and say, oh my God, Ronnie. So really shout out to the homie, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, she went up to the mic and she did it. And as soon as I heard it, I was just like, yo, like that's gonna be my new tag. I just knew it. Oh my God, Ronnie. And eventually you know, I did tour. Mm -hmm. I toured the whole country. As an artist. It's fun, yeah. And yeah, nah, I need people to know that like I'm great though, you know? Yeah, Eminem dropped Kamikaze. You had two tracks on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two, two and, and both of them were jabs, if you yeah. will, at Machine Gun Kelly. And then after that, Machine Gun Kelly drops Rap Devil. Mm -hmm. Another Ronnie JB. Yeah. How did that happen? Destiny. Somebody grab some clippers. My manager was like, yo, send beats for M. I sent beats. A few days later, he was like, all right, M wants these two. A month later, two months later, he's like, all right, it's going on M's album. Once he told me to send the stems, I already knew it's like, it's album time, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, in the midst of that, I'm in LA. My boy's like, yo, I know MGK. He told MGK, pull up to the studio. MGK pulled up. MGK was like, yo, bro, I've been hearing your name. I was even around Post Malone. They were saying your name. I had to come. That's what he said. He was like, yo, I had to come. I had to come see what Ronnie J is all about. I played some beats or whatever, and he took them. He was like, yo, I gotta go to my studio right now. I'm about to work right now. One of them just happened to be Rap Devil, and he rapped on it immediately. He said it to me. I thought it was crazy. He was super excited. Like, yo, you about to go, you about to go crazy with this one. He dropped it and you know, it went all over. You find yourself in the middle of the biggest rap beef of 2018. Fire, the best rap beef in history. And you're the only producer in history as far as I know. Yeah, I'm the only one in the world. I'm the only one ever, ever in history. To be on both sides of the beef. Yeah. Were you worried about any flat coming to you? I mean, not really MGK because like, Obviously, he knew that like I made the beat, but we just never spoke about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just never spoke about it. Like I don't think he cares. I think he just really rocks with me, and he just wants a hard beat. Now people are saying that this whole thing is a ploy <laughs> uh, that Interscope's using to help you sell records. Oh man, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's let's also say it like it is. You took two weeks. I took two days. You used the Ronnie J track. I used the Ronnie J track. You used the Million Dollar Studio. I used the dressing room before soundcheck. Were you worried about anything from him? I don't think he cares either, you know? I'm still sending beats for him, so like, I think I think they just wanna make music, you know? Yeah. If it's like that, then, you know, taking it personal, the fans think like that. Everyone's like, how? Like, how did you do that? How'd you do that, you know? And definitely. Yeah. You know, you, you gotta be Ronnie J to do that. <laughs> I'm the only one. I mean, I always told myself that as soon as I see tight beats, on YouTube, that's when I knew, like, I made it. Oh my God, that's when I would know, like, okay, like, it's real. Mm -hmm. Like, people are really out here paying attention to what I'm doing. Dude, but walk me through a day in the life of Ronnie J. You know, I wake up, you know, um, I give thanks, and then I don't really leave the house until I make at least five beats. And that's every single day. And then, you know, I hit the gym, and in the midst of me thinking about working out, I think about my mother and if, she, if she's okay. You know, like how, like how is she feeling? You guys are close. Yeah, my mama's boy. Period. You know, I do it all for her. That's it. Is there like a specific like life-changing moment for Ronnie J? There's a few. The first life-changing moment for me was when I had the offer to have uh, my song "Ultimate" with Denzel Curry in a Adidas ad. That was like the first big check I got. It was like 10 grand. I just remember being in LA, my hotel, near the airport, and just the money hitting my account. Why was that life changing? I've never received an amount like that at one time mm -hmm. off of like what I love to do. Can you just run through a list of artists that you're collaborating with right now? Right now, you know, I'm working with Kanye West, Pusha T, Pharrell, Nicki Minaj, Big Sean. Lil Pump, Ski Mask, Denzel Curry, and then X, you know what I'm saying? We still got unreleased music, you know, that's forever. So you're working with the biggest names in music right now? Yeah, for the most part, yeah, for which sure. Is, which is crazy, man. Yeah. How does that feel? It feels like this is what's supposed to happen. You're such a freaky girl, I love it. Kanye's people call you, or who was it? How'd you find out about the Kanye's? My homie Nicky called me, he was like, yo, Kanye, what's the link? Boom. After that, flights. 
like straight to the point. First thing he said when he seen me was like, yo, thank you for coming. He shook my hand. I was like, thank you for having me. You know, I was like, all respect. I feel like he for sure respected me just because of like who I worked with, you mm -hmm. know, like being X, he was super inspired. He was wearing like a t-shirt with X on it. And I was like, yo, I appreciate that. And he was like, yeah, I appreciate, you know, everything you guys did. Yeah, I felt like, you know, I had every right to be there. Run, Jay, listen up. Double G need a G every time it's a comma. Day one G stay down for the comma. Having the most numbers ever. Like, you know, that's yeah. why you had to pay attention to what we were doing. My first night in Chicago, he was like, yo, we're going to Columbia tomorrow. Super random. I'm just like, man, I just got here. Went to Columbia and 6ix9ine was over there getting like his teeth done or whatever. So like we were just working with 6ix9ine. Like there's mad fans outside of the hotel. Do you ever have that moment when you're like, I'm working with Kanye West right now? Just being in a room next to his and seeing him post up like his view on his Instagram and then me looking out the window and seeing the same view, like I'm not only just next to him, but I'm literally with him. Just made me feel like, man, like, you know, everything I've ever done in the past has paid off to get up to this point. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we went from, like, Colombia, we went back to Chicago, then we went to, like, Amsterdam. We ended up in Africa. And what were you guys doing? We were just, like, working on music. You had these studios set up, like, in these big cubes outside. The place that we were staying at, you had to literally hop on a cargo plane just to get there. And it just makes you think, like, where do the workers stay? But it's just, like, the resort was literally in the middle of nowhere. So it's, like, just think about their lives. Like, what do they really do? Were you guys recording Yandi out there? Yeah, we were recording Yandi. Because that's going to be a complete that's gonna, that's, that's gonna be a, It's going to be a life changer for me. Yeah, for sure. Like, period. In every single way. Like, I'm going to go from whatever you, wherever you think I'm at right now to somewhere you can't even imagine. I'm going to be on a planet that's unheard of. That's straight up. You know, I worked with Pharrell too. Now I'm living like you want me. How was that? He was more or less just trying to see like how I work, you know? Yeah. He was like super just like intrigued by like how I did what I did because we both use logic. Or he'll just watch and be like, wow, like I didn't, I never thought about doing it that way or something, you know? Mm. It was interesting to see like how he makes beats, you feel me? It's a lot different, I ain't gonna lie, it really is. I want to talk to you about your new project, Jupiter. When's that coming out? It's gonna be coming out really, really, really soon. I'm just like putting certain things in order so, so the rollout is perfect. And it's all me, it's 19 songs. I produce all the songs on there. I got two features on there. Who's the other features? I got Ty Dolla Sign and Rich the Kid. I didn't really want any other feature. You know, I want to show people, you know, I could do it on my own. Yeah. Not that it really matters to prove myself, but sometimes you do gotta, you know, prove yourself. And what, what kind of artist are you? I'm a universal artist. No genre, just whatever I feel like making in the moment. I do whatever I feel.